All right, welcome back to the digital job site. This is the second of a few videos showing how to import a crown molding profile and calculate compound miter angles from that with that information. In the first video, I showed how to uh, set up these axis lines, uh, just roughly going over the photo match process. So um, now uh, that with that set up, I'm just going to click done and then minimize this photo match dialog box and um, so I just want to create a framework on this drawing um, and I'm starting at this axis line here and I want to go up in the in the vertical direction you can see I've got a blue line right under my tape measure and I want to make a, a line that's parallel to the axis and even with this upper end of the board or the crown molding sample you can see now that it's going to trace that line. And I'm going to go down in the blue direction and put another guideline right through the origin point there. I'm going to take another one and go across in the red direction and pick up this other edge of our crown molding. And with the previous process, um, you can see how I established these um, guidelines so that they'll follow. Um, this piece of crown molding. Now I'm just going to throw a rectangle on here and um, see if I can get it to snap in. Yeah, there. So now um, I've created a plane that um, uh, coincides with the back of the crown molding. And now I want to do another plane that's um, perpendicular to that one. I'm paying attention to my axis directions. I, I went in the red direction, now I'm going in the green back over here in arbitrary distance in red and then back in green so then um, now I've got a, two planes that are um, 90 degrees to each other that include our drawing I'll rotate out of here and as soon as you do any orbit motion it it leaves the photograph and goes into model mode but you can see I've got two planes 90 degrees to each other that are uh, in relation to the crown molding photo we took and then to get back into the photo match mode, just click this box and it lines everything back up. Kind of a neat process. Um, and you can see how um, this is taking the, um, bringing this photo into reality in a 3D model. So the next step, um, we want to get this to scale. And this is why I measured this three inches out previously. So I'm taking a, a line going in the green direction here and then I'm going to just draw a pencil line on here, just a line from, let's see, let's throw in another guideline here on this point. I'm just going to get 90 degrees. There's 90 degrees. Okay, so I'm going to take a point from here at this intersection and draw it parallel to here. This is just to get our model um, into scale. So I drew a line from one point to the other, and I want that line to be three inches long. So now if we grab the tape measure tool and measure that line, you can see it says 54 and 7 sixteenths, uh, but we want it to be three inches. So I just type three and enter. And this is the key point. It says, do you want to resize the model? I click yes, and our model shrinks down in size, but now um, the line is in scale, it's three inches long, just like it needs to be on our molding. So the, our, uh, our model is now to scale. Uh, and that's, that's another um, set of um, steps in the process of capturing this molding profile. I'll stop the video here and um, add, uh, we'll pick it up from here in another video to continue the process.